big deal, right? And then I was opening up magazines because I get a lot of pet magazines, and now the foods are advertising no peas, no lentils, no legumes, and stuff like that. So before we're all caught like flat footed, could you guys give us some then to answer this? Um, it's really easy. Um, there is not a plant in the world, I don't think, that does not have a toxic component. Every plant does. I don't know um, how many of you eat apples. Well, the seeds have cyanide in them. Mm -hmm. So the reason why this happened is the plants developed so that they could protect themselves. And different plants, different places, they have different toxicity. Now, when you cook peas, when you cook lentils, when you cook some of these um, ingredients, those, quote, toxic ingredients disappear, dissipate, they're not as bad as they used to be. So when they start saying it's peas, you know, it's just that telephone. He said and she said and she said. So I think, someone asked me this before, I think the safest and, and the real answer is what I just said. All plants have toxicity. And when we select a plant and an ingredient, that ingredient is selected and we do know what we're selecting. Once they are cooked and once they are chemically mixed together, you know, everybody thinks that cooking is just cooking. You know, you take the bacon, you take the eggs, you take the bread, you make it pretty, you put it on there. That cooked egg is no longer the same egg that came out of my little girls. It's different. And that bacon is no, no longer the same kind of bacon that came from the slab of bacon. The cooking is a chemical reaction. So what, what's happening is a lot of these people are saying, oh, it's A, B, C, and D, and they are wrong. And I think what you might want to do is just Google, and just Google some common ingredients. Do apples, do pears, do basil. You know, do oregano, do a raspberry, do all these different things. Maybe make a sheet. I don't know. I'm not a marketer. You would have to ask Linda and say, look, look at these. And that's what's happening. Two, when they say, well, it's because of the peas or it's because of the flax seed that I no longer can have, you know, I have smaller, you know, smaller. That, the, uh, that is not true. Again, they have that, that component you want to call toxic. It's toxic, but you can call it whatever it is. They're being cooked. And then also they're in small amounts. But I don't like, and Linda would have to explain, to say small amounts, because I'm afraid if I say in small amounts, they're going to say, uh-huh, in larger amounts. But that is the truth. And as a matter of fact, just to throw this out, and this is not crazy, we now know that plants have brains. Right. And we now know that if you go and you touch a plant, plant A, and it has XYZ chemicals in it for protection, depending on where the touch is coming and, and how hard is the touch, then you get more and more of those chemicals. The dose makes the poison. So you can find anything in anything. So I would, I would tell them to go talk to Dr. Nick. <laughs> you have to know she